The Nebraska Cornhuskers have been an interesting team to keep up with during the 2022 season. They are coming off a college football offseason in which they picked up a lot of talent in the transfer portal, and people thought this was going to be the year that it really came all together for Scott Frost and that Cornhusker program where they're going to make a bowl game. However, things did not really go as planned the first few games, as just three games into the season after a 1-2 start, Scott Frost was fired, and they've had Mickey Joseph as the interim head coach since. As of the recording of this video, Nebraska is currently 3-3 three three with a 2-1 conference record. That 2-1 conference record is tied in first place with Illinois and Purdue for the Big Ten West standings. So Nebraska still has a realistic shot to an extent to make the Big Ten title game. Today's video isn't necessarily going to be about the 2022 season that Nebraska's having thus far. Instead, it's actually going to be about the teams that have beaten Nebraska. As all the teams that have beaten Nebraska this season have struggled since that game. Now before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. Three teams have beaten Nebraska in 2022. Two out-of-conference opponents and one in-conference opponent. The first team that Nebraska lost to was their very first game, and that was all the way in Ireland. They lost to in-conference opponent Northwestern 28-31. A couple weeks later, Nebraska took on Georgia Southern, a game that they were supposed to win by double digits. Instead, Nebraska ended up losing on their own home turf 42-45, and that was the last straw for the head coach Scott Frost. He was fired the day after that game. The next week after that, in a big noon kickoff on Fox, Nebraska would take on a rival in Oklahoma and get absolutely embarrassed 14 to 49. Victories are always a good thing for any team no matter what. However, with these teams, after they beat a certain team in Nebraska that plays in the Big Ten Conference, they haven't been the same since. All three of these teams since they've played Nebraska have a combined total record of 1-11, and 11. only one of these teams winning a game. And the team that has that one lone win between the three of them, it isn't Northwestern, it isn't Oklahoma, it is Georgia Southern. The first team I'm going to be talking about is the team that beat them first in Northwestern. Northwestern beat Nebraska in the very first week of the college football season in week zero in Ireland, winning the game 31-28. And in that game, Northwestern's offense, it showed a lot of promise, especially when you compare it to how the team looked last season, even though the defense wasn't necessarily the best for a good part of that game. Since they've beaten Nebraska in Week 0, Northwestern is currently on a five-game losing streak. Losing to Duke, 23-31. Southern Illinois, 24-31. Miami, Ohio, 14-17. Penn State 7 to 17 and most recently Wisconsin 7 to 42. Northwestern can only afford one more loss if they want to make a bowl game and if they lose two more games they're ultimately not going to go bowling at all. In regards to Northwestern as a team it's not necessarily surprising that they're struggling right now or don't have the best record as not many people thought Northwestern was going to be the best team in 2022 coming off a 3-9 2021 campaign. However, people expected them to have a better record by now. Many thought they would beat Duke after a very good win versus Nebraska in their very first game and having a bye week to prepare for Duke. And people definitely thought they were going to beat Southern Illinois at home and should have beaten Miami, Ohio at home as well. The second team that beat Nebraska in 2022 was Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern, they weren't supposed to win this game especially in Lincoln. However, they did beat Nebraska, winning 45-42. Going into that game, Georgia Southern was 1-0 after winning against Morgan State in a dominant fashion, 59-7. Since beating Nebraska, Georgia Southern has a record of 1-3, losing to UAB 21-35, losing to Coastal Carolina 30-34, and Georgia State 33-41. Their lone win since beating Nebraska was versus Ball State 34 to 23. 
As of right now for the 2022 season, Georgia Southern is 3-3 and 0-2 in conference play. Overall, a 3-3 start for Georgia Southern in 2022 isn't the worst thing for that team. In 2021, they went 3-9, and and this is their first year with their new head coach, Clay Helton. The rest of the schedule for Georgia Southern in the 2022 college football season, there is definitely some games they can win. They have to play James Madison, Old Dominion, South Alabama, Louisiana, Marshall, and Appalachian State. It will be a little tricky to get three more wins to be bowl eligible, but it's something that they can definitely do. And this Nebraska win overall for their program is still monumental. The last team that has beaten Nebraska in 2022 as of the recording of this video is Oklahoma. They're also the only team out of the three teams that have beaten them thus far to absolutely dominate them in a game all the way through. 49-14. to 14. And although they did beat Nebraska in the most dominant fashion compared to Northwestern and Georgia Southern, out of those three teams, Oklahoma has had the worst since beating Nebraska, as they look like a former shell of themselves compared to seeing Oklahoma the first three weeks, and especially in that Nebraska game. Those first three weeks of the 22 college football season, OU is absolutely dominant, beating UTEP 45-13, Kent State 33-3, and of course, Nebraska in Lincoln 49-14. After beating Nebraska, they even rose all the way up to number 6 in the AP poll, just two spots out from being a top 4 team with a playoff spot in mind. And since beating Nebraska, they're on a three-game losing streak, losing to Kansas State 34-41. TCU, 24-55, and most recently, Texas, 0-49. OU currently sits in at 3-3, three three, with zero conference wins being 0-3 in the Big 12, and last place in the Big 12 as well. It's also worth noting, out of those three teams, OU was the only one out of Georgia Southern, Northwestern, and themselves to be seen as a better team heading into 2022. They were the only ranked one out of the three, and they were the only one heading into that game with Nebraska that was expected to win. For the rest of the 2022 season, OU will have to play Kansas, Iowa State, Baylor, West Virginia, Oklahoma State, and Texas Tech. They sit in at 3-3, three and three, and it really looks like they don't have any guaranteed wins. We may not see OU make a bowl game, or we may see them make one, one that they have not been to or may have never been to in a very, very long time. Well, guys, if you've made this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below. How do you think Georgia Southern, Northwestern, OU, and Nebraska will fare for the rest of the 2022 college football season? And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly out. <laughs>